Now, I was just going to say, Calvin Coolidge's inauguration, the first one to be broadcast by radio, 1925. And the first one for TV, Truman, 1949. Very true. The cables for people to watch it in the Midwest had literally just been installed a few weeks before. Folks on the West Coast still couldn't watch Truman's inauguration. That'd be nice if we could hear some of the commands. That would be nice, yes. We can hear the applause. I know those two words, forward march. <laughs> I think I've uttered that a time or two. Let's listen and watch.
Janet, what if I were to tell you that in one day you would have a new job and your change and change your place of residence in the same day? What would you say to that? Seems like a lot. And a new ride. And a new car. And a, and a new car there. I don't know if everyone noticed uh, how thick those doors oh. are when they put the president into that car, but there it is, nicknamed the Beast. Departing from the east front, they're on their way over to Arlington Cemetery, lay a wreath. And past two presidents while doing it. William Howard Taft and John Fitzgerald Kennedy. The vice president getting into the car there with the flags. You know, Chairman Blunt, the JSEC uh, announced, announcing this inaugural, 59th inaugural, spoke about this event, commonplace and miraculous, and how this stands as an assurance to all people of our continued, unbroken commitment to continuity, stability, perseverance, and democracy. Photographed, and of course, those inaugurations here on the East Front that we're looking at through our cameras. And of course, broadcast on the radio, broadcast on the television, and now live streamed out over the internet. How about President Carter, who's not here to attend, but has seen, it's perhaps better in some cases that for, for him given uh, uh, some infirmities that he's able to witness this from his comfort of his own. Close up oh. on the license plate there, it said 46, 46. Our 46th president inside that limousine, again nicknamed the Beast. People were able to rec listen to the sound recording. But yet we hear about the good old days. <laughs> yeah, 1949, Truman, where the folks on the West Coast couldn't see it because the television cables weren't installed yet. 